What a lovely surprise to finally discover how unlonely being alone can be. By observing our society, we can easily identify that humans are social animals. We have always survived and thrived together throughout history and this shows how important the sense of belonging is for us. In modern society, the majority of people live in cities, spend time in groups like schools and companies, and deal with each other on a daily basis. I think it's fair to say that our DNA wires us to want to belong to a community because it gives us a sense of comfort, relief and support from others in the same community. This desire to belong to a group is so universal that this is found across all cultures in different types of people around the world. But what if you don't feel that you're belonging anywhere in a society where others seem like they have no issue of being in a particular group? What does it mean not to belong? I believe the experience of not belonging presents itself in different forms. It might mean that you never prefer to hang out with the same group of people in school or your workplace every day. On a bigger scale, you might not feel that you belong to a city or a country because others think and behave in a way that doesn't align with your beliefs and values. Psychologically speaking, the sense of not belonging might make you feel excluded and sick because you feel alone in this enormous world. Throughout my life, I've always felt like an outsider. I was born and raised in Japan for 15 years, but I simply didn't like the education system in Japan. Also, the custom of showing respect to others just because they're older than you never resonated with me. Then I had an opportunity to study abroad in New Zealand at the age of 15, and I ended up staying there for 8 years from school and university to working in the country. As much as I loved staying in New Zealand, I always felt like an outsider as Japanese living in the country. I guess I haven't discovered a particular place that I belong to in my entire life, and I'm currently 25 years old who is becoming more and more aware of the fact that he might remain as an outsider till his last breath on this earth. Despite the fact that at this point in my life, I feel like I should be considered as a master of being an outsider, which may sound a bit sad somehow, I believe I have gained some important life lessons about how not belonging can be beneficial to all of our lives. So in this video, I'd like to share with you some of the incredible benefits of not belonging based on my personal life experience. Absolute freedom. Our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Joy follows a pure thought, like a shadow that never leaves. Groups give people within the same circles a sense of comfort, belongingness and safety. However, they enforce harmony by managing the way we think, act and restrict physical movements. For instance, a group like a school forces us to wear the same uniform and if we try to tweak it for our preference, then we get punished by getting detention from teachers. Things are slowly changing now, but to this day, there are many Japanese schools that require men to wear pants and women to wear skirts, as if they don't consider each individual's preference on what to wear or how to wear at all. Other groups might restrict you from consuming certain food or prohibit you from entering specific places based on the group's ideology whether or not it's scientifically proven or logical. When you're in a group, you're inclined to agree with your group's thoughts and perspectives, which is referred to as groupthink bias. Groupthink bias is the practice of thinking or decision making in a way that discourages individual responsibility. For example, working from 9am to 5pm is normal, which the majority of us do on a daily basis, but have you ever considered, does working from 9am to 5pm suit my style of living? When you confirm to a group, that restricts you from being the person you'd like to become, or some might say it takes your ability to think for yourself, because a group's ideology enforces those people who are in it to think in the same way, and everything that the group believes in becomes the norm. When you don't belong to a group, it gives you the opportunity to take a step back 
from a group's ideology in think about what suits you or what doesn't align with your own beliefs and values. Also, the majority of us understand that a lot of things we experience in life, such as cultures, people, countries, etc., have their positive and negative aspects. So by not conforming to a particular group, you can experience different circles and learn from each of them. Then you're able to distinguish what suits you and doesn't because you understand not only one circle, but several or many other circles, ideologies and perspectives. This means that you have the ability to compare one thing to other things that leads you to develop critical thinking. No distinction between comrades and enemies. When you are a part of a group, it gives you the feeling of insecurity, comfort and relief because there are always others who believe in the same values and beliefs, which gives you a sense of support. Love is the very foundation, beauty and fulfillment of life. If we dive deep enough into ourselves, we will find that the one thread of universal love ties all beings together. As this awareness dawns within us, peace alone will reign. What we frequently see happening in the situation of belonging to a group is that people deeply love the members of the same group. However, they can be unfriendly, show hate, or become physically violent towards others that do not belong to that group. This is great when you are part of that group, but I believe that change in terms of our perspectives, opinions, and preferences is simply inevitable. Therefore, you might find yourself no longer fit into the group that you spent a considerable amount of time in because it's human nature that you change as you grow. This means that you might end up detaching yourself from the group. In other words, you become an outcast. All of a sudden, the love that you constantly received from the group no longer applies to you, which indicates to me that this type of love is conditional and only occurs when you belong to a group. For example, when I was in elementary school, I would often hang out with a particular group of friends. Then one day, I decided to go to cram school to study more because I thought that getting into a good junior high school would benefit me in life. So naturally, I began spending more time studying and less time hanging out with my friends. Eventually, they told me that I had changed and they didn't want to hang out with me anymore. And our friendship ended just like that and I lost their love completely. Though I was forced to detach myself from the group, I began noticing that I started hanging out with others that I had never considered hanging out with before at school after this incident. In a way, I was able to interact with others from different groups freely because I no longer identified myself as someone from a particular group but myself, Sena Shimotsuma. Because of this experience, I could learn that when I don't belong to a group, I'm free to distribute love to whoever I want and I can build compassion for humanity as a whole. From this position, there's no distinction between comrades and enemies. Discovering self-awareness. At the end of the day, we always rely on each other for existing on this earth. In society, certain rules do exist for all of us to live in harmony. Therefore, I believe that belonging isn't always a bad thing. For example, I love living in Japan and enjoy being a citizen of this country, as well as all the perks that I can receive from this place, and being Japanese is a part of my identity. But aside from obeying the laws and basic rules of living in this country, I believe I have a great amount of freedom to choose to live my life however I want. This is because I don't set the pursuit of belonging to a group as a default of living my life and I focus on spending energy on self-development. By not pursuing to belong to a group, I knew that I'm always free to question any values, beliefs and ideologies without being criticized by others and choose to apply what I learn from others who belong to different groups to my way of living and make my life better constantly. In a way, I could discover self-awareness by not belonging to a group because it allowed me to spend a lot of time with my own thoughts and perspectives, which has been helping me live a life that I can become true to myself. Not belonging to a particular group means that we are able to find what really matters to us in our life, 
which leads to discover our own values and beliefs. It ultimately gives us the strength to be true to ourselves, because we are free to learn from others that might identify themselves as belonging to different groups. We can be open-minded to understand those people's perspectives and opinions, which helps us provide universal love to people that we connect or encounter in our lives, no matter what kind of groups they belong to. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've always felt like an outsider who doesn't belong to a particular place. But I've come to realize how precious it is that I don't belong anywhere, and I love the fact that I can connect with people from different kinds of groups freely. Also through the experience that I've had, I could learn to actively take action and create a place for myself and others rather than passively waiting for things to happen to me. I feel so grateful to be able to share my opinions and perspectives with you on YouTube because now I can see that there are many people out there who feel similar ways that I do and we are building a huge community for ourselves on my channel. I know how small my existence is on this earth and I know I can only do so much by myself but with each and every one of you I feel like we can accomplish anything and together we are going to influence the world positively. That's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up because when you hit the like button, the YouTube algorithm helps my channel grow and reach people who are interested in the topics that I discuss on my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and I will keep striving to create videos that are worth your time. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.